Matador 64 is a returning shotgun from Destiny 1, put into Destiny 2 as part of the Bungie 30th Anniversary Pack. Well, this is a reward from the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon, and it brings back a fan-favorite shotgun from the original Destiny. Well, today I'm going to check out the Matador 64, the stats, the God Roll Guide for PvE and PvP, plus how to get the Matador 64 in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, Matador 64 is a legendary energy shotgun that deals arc damage. It's got a precision frame, meaning the weapon's recoil pattern is much more predictably vertical. So looking at the stats, we've got 80 for impact, 68 for range, 53 for stability, 49 for handling, 53 for reload speed. It's a 65 rounds per minute shotgun with five in the magazine. Well, next up, let's have a look at the Matador 64 God Roll Guide. So for PvE, Rifle Barrel, Assault Mag, Perpetual Motion and Golden Tricorn would be really good. So Rifle Barrel increases that range and decreases the handling speed. Assault Mag increases stability and also the rounds per minute. Perpetual Motion is a new perk, and you gain bonus stability, handling, and reload speed while the wielder is in motion. And finally, you've got the Golden Tricorn. That's where final blows of the weapon grant bonus damage. So while the buff is active, grenade or melee kills of the same damage type greatly increase the damage and the duration. So two really interesting new perks there on this shotgun. So for PvP, Full Choke, Tactical Mag, Threat Detector, and Killing Wind to be a decent role. So Full Choke tightens the barrel and projectile spread, and Tactical Mag increases the stability, magazine size, and reload speed. Threat Detector improves the reload speed, stability, and handling when enemies are close, and then you've got Killing Wind, where final blows increase the mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to get the Matador 64 in Destiny 2. So to get this shotgun, it's a random drop from the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon, which is part of the paid content for Bungie's 30th anniversary pack. Well, that means you have to buy the content to be able to get this weapon. So I got the weapon to drop for me from the first boss encounter in the dungeon, and the boss here is called Prezia the Insatiable, and that is a massive ogre. So at the moment, I don't know if this is the only encounter where you can get the Matador 64 to drop, but we will find out in the coming weeks once the loot table gets published. But I have seen a few other people say, they got the Matador 64 to drop from this first boss encounter. So if you're looking to get the Matador 64, that is where I would start looking. So at the dungeon launch, there is a bug at the moment, so you can only get rewards once per character per week. Although Bungie has said they are looking to fix this, so you can farm the dungeon in the future, much like you can do with the Prophecy Dungeon. So that should hopefully be fixed around mid-December 2021. There are also a few secret chests in the dungeon and they reward weapons that you already have. So if you have a drop of Matador 64 already from your first run, then you'll be able to get drops of the shotgun again from the secret chests. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of Matador 64 and also what you think of the Destiny 2 version compared to Destiny 1. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the Matador 64 in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again, I'll see you soon.